Hi guys, bonjour mes amis, I'm Booger. Welcome aboard. How are you? I'm doing great. Um, I'm gonna, I got some green tomatoes out there. So I'm gonna do some fried green tomatoes. We're gonna do a BLT out of those fried green tomatoes, okay? I'm gonna make a nice sauce and everything. That's, I, you know, I like fried green tomatoes, but put some bacon in there somewhere. You know I'm all over that. You guys ready? Let's go. Chin chin. Let's cook some bacon in the air fryer, shall we? So I'm using the Rapid Crisp Air Fryer by DeLonghi. Love it. The beauty of this air fryer, it has a bottom burner so I don't have to flip this bacon over. It's gonna cook just fine. And this is a uh, thin bacon, if you wanna know. That's what I had. If you haven't tried bacon in your air fryer yet, you are missing out. Now, usually, sometimes I use the little grill that come, that uh, I always list down below from Can Cooker. But uh, this time I'm going to use the grease to fry out my tomatoes. <laughs> Got a little scraggly here. All right, let me wipe my hands real quick. All right, so I'm going to put this at the highest setting. Uh, if you notice sometimes if you cook bacon in your air fryer, here's a tip. Use that little grill, whatever grill you're using. Um, or if you have a little basket with holes, put a little bit of water on the bottom. It's that grease that falls on the bottom of the pan that creates that smoke. It's going to smoke for a little bit, then it stops, but it's just a tip. Does here it, ha it lasts for about a minute and that's it. It's not a big deal. So I'm going to go to the manual setting. It doesn't matter. You know, the highest setting. Yeah, sure. Let's go to the highest setting. It's going to take less than 30 minutes, but just to, to show you guys, um, how long it takes. I'm, I just turned the bottom burner on. That light's lit right there. So that's all I'm doing is cooking bacon. And we'll be back. While the bacon's cooking, I'm gonna make a sauce. Also, I'm gonna coat the toast with this stuff. I'm gonna put a link at the end of this uh, video of my um, grilled cheese sandwich. I think it was ham and cheese, if I remember correctly. Instead of using butter on your bread to toast your bread in the air fryer, do a mayonnaise coating but i'm gonna spice it up now sriracha right now is really expensive and hard to find so this stuff my neighbor she got a i think it was a box of six i'll put a link to it on amazon and i just got a bottle from her she gave me a bottle of baya now that brand right there i swear has the best spices and they also got a breadcrumb panko breadcrumb out with uh complete saison seasoning Publix grocery store used to sell it, but now they don't. So if you guys, anybody, comment down below. If you see it anywhere, let me know. Like I don't have Kroger's or what's the other one? Trader Joe's or anything like that. But anyways, if you find it at Walmart or anything like that, let me know. Because I'm talking about the panko breadcrumbs. But anyways, so they make this sriracha sauce now. So yeah, so let's spice up this mayonnaise, shall we? I'm gonna put a couple tablespoons of that in there. All right, I'm gonna mix this up, put this aside, and we'll uh, we'll get the tomatoes going as soon as the bacon's done. I said in minutes. Oh my god, perfectly cooked bacon. All right, so let's take this out. Look at that. Beautiful. It didn't even start to, to smoke or nothing. I mean, I put a whole pack of bacon in there and just let it go. I don't even touch it. All right, so let's put this aside. Let me see, one moment show here. Let's cut the tomatoes up. Now it's only uh, three small ones that we found out there, green tomatoes. Hi, Tom. Hi. See, they're not very big, but it'll be good for the sandwich. What are you breaking? Not breaking nothing. Pretty sure. Yes. Look at that, look how beautiful that is. So the thickness is all up to you. I'm going to do probably about an inch. Um, I used to have an intro uh, video of a burger, a competition, contest, or what do you call those? Competition? I don't know. Russ from uh, Smoky Ribs was uh, doing to win a, I think it was a green egg grill. I can't remember. It was such a long time ago. But um, the video... <laughs> This is before shorts. It's a little story here. The video had to be done in thir in 90 seconds, which uh, shorts have to be done in 60 seconds. Did you guys know that? 
Try to put a 20 minute cooking video into 60 seconds. Holy snapping. But his, uh, I entered it, you know, it was a, a barbecue thing, but my little air fryer butt went in there and started uh, doing a video for it. Wow, this one just sped up some juices at me. So that was my first, like a long time ago, video that I had to edit down. Oh God, it was, it was something else. I'll put a link at the end if you want to check it out. I used to have it at, uh, on my homepage, but uh, I kind of switch it up a little bit now that I do shorts. Shorts are okay now that I know how to do it. And also you have to film them upright. You know, there's a lot to it, but it's pretty, it's pretty challenging. Let, let me just put it that way. All right, so you see how that, that is right there? Like that. Okay, I do have fried green tomato uh, recipes out there. You're more than welcome to check it out. All right, so the battering. Now, I'm going to fry this in that bacon grease. I want to see, look. That's how much grease there is. Not a whole lot. There's only, what, five slices? Okay. It's going to be perfect. Instead of spraying olive oil, that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so the uh, bad, bad battering, you know, batter, batter up, is usually flour, egg, and breadcrumbs, right? Well, I'm using something different. Can you see? Probably not. Let me push things back. Oh, I need more room. Month of February, flour, egg, breading, or breadcrumb, okay? Now, my flour is different because I'm using... Tomatoes, it doesn't have a, a, you know, like a chicken skin or it's not meat or anything like that. I'm using Bisquick. Yes. You ever tried some fried chicken with that? Yeah, I tell ya. That's some, that's some good stuff. I always have a box of this stuff. All right, so that's Bisquick right here. This is two eggs and one tablespoon of uh, water. It's called an egg wash. I'm putting some more of that in there. Good old hefty tablespoon of that. Okay. Let's mix this up. Oh, a booger forgot to turn their phone on. At least I know it's not Tom bugging me. Oh yeah, beautiful color. Now that's up to you if you don't like, it's spicy. I mean, sriracha is spicy a little bit, but it's not that crazy. It just adds a, a je ne sais quoi. Panko breadcrumbs. If you want some crispiness, panko, not just regular breadcrumbs. All right, so let's go. So flour, flour, egg, and breadcrumbs. All right, so let's go in the flour, or bisquick in our cases. See, you can't really see. Let me try to scoot you down here in a minute. Hang on. Hang on. Bear with me. Oof. Tighten it up the other day. It's, okay. One hand dry, one hand wet, one yellow. <laughs> oh my god, I'm sorry guys. So you go in the egg wash. Now you can double dip. I may just do that. I think I'm gonna double dip, which means goes back into Oh my god, Tommy, can you mute that? I'm going back in the egg. And then in the bread. Oh, that's gonna be so good. If you've never had fried green tomatoes, it's something different. I actually did a fried green cherry tomatoes too. Man, I could put so many links to all these videos. You get, you guys need to check it out. I have playlists, and I'm just gonna put this in here for her. I have a playlist of uh, recipes that's, that's uh, vegetarian, no meat. And then I have playlists of which air fryer I use. I mean, go check it out. Just push play all and it'll just keep playing. So you can have me in the background, put you to sleep or something, I don't know. Back there. All right, so do you get what I'm doing here? I'm double dipping, just because it's a tomato. Uh, if you're doing squash or zucchini, double dipping is good because it does, like I said, it doesn't have something for this stuff to stick on really, you know. Now we're just making a 
a really crispy coating. All right, so I'm gonna finish this, wash my hands, and change the angle to the air fryer, and then we will go from there. Okay, I'll be back. Hey, look at that. It'll fit in there. Could have fit probably two or three more slices in there, but that's all I need. It's just Tom and I. All right, so spraying the tops. I will spray the tops with an aerosol spray, olive oil, but not quite yet because I, just, I don't want it to get, I want it to get a nice crisp first a little bit and then go from there. Um, that doesn't take very long. You know, they're really hard because they're green tomatoes. So I'm going to do it till I can poke a little Q-tip, Q-tip, a toothpick, <laughs> sorry, French Canadian, uh, through it. So it's like soft, like a pillow. All right. But I'm going to let you know how long we go. Let's go to, um, where are you at? Okay. Let's go to manual i usually t manual is my go-to thing the other settings that's yeah, all right but if you want to know what that temperature means is i typed it on below with the setting on manual setting i'm going to do uh number three is good because i want to give it time for that tomato to cook the breading is going to darken faster than the tomato will cook per se so don't cook it on the highest heat that that wouldn't be my suggestion but uh, i'm going to turn the bottom burner on so of course not every air fryer has that option so halfway of the time that i'm gonna do it just flip it over halfway so the other side cooks evenly okay 30 minutes is way too long probably but i'm gonna leave it that so we can see how much time has elapsed all right so let's go you guys all right you guys what is it 10 minutes let's check it out okay so i'm gonna go into the rim of the tomato oh pretty darn close oh yeah pretty darn see if you would have put it at the highest highest setting it would have um darkened way too fast before that tomatoes cooked so i'm going to go for another two minutes so uh 12 minutes total all right we'll be back I'm you two minutes goes a long way i'm going to close up you hear that bacon grease action i'm going to take them out oh, nice and crispy. Hot. look at that bottom right so don't forget to flip it over halfway. I'm gonna take these out and then we're gonna do the bread. Ooh, it smells so good already. So you remember our mayonnaise shracha? Yeah. Okay. So I'm using Wonder Bread, if you wanna know, the softest bread for a friggin' sandwich. Yes. Put some of this on the outside. I'm telling you, don't do butter, do this. put it on both sides too oh make a mess <laughs> all right let me do this off camera because i'm making a mess you see that i'll be right back i could have fit another two slices of bread there but i'm just making a sandwich and tasting it for the video but i'm gonna make some more after this um yeah it's resuming let's leave it at the way it is the bottom's on you're gonna have to flip your bread over halfway it's not gonna take very long let's toast let's make some toast in here all right Everything's the same. We'll be back. The lace. Look at my beautiful mess. I did flip it over because of the bacon grease. I wanted bacon grease to... It goes a long way, right? Bacon grease is the best thing in the world. I saved my bacon grease. Do you? All right. So here we go. Let me uh, zoom you out a little bit here. All right. Let's put it together. Oh. Woo! Nearly. Woo, look at that. Oh, that's what I wanted right there. Oh, boy. All right, so let's start with the tomato. The tomato. Actually, let me put a little bit of this sauce, the same sauce that we did with the nevacha. Just a little bit. Little smiley face there. Oh, my gosh. I'm like so excited. Isn't that beautiful? Some bacon. More bacon. I have more bacon. What you saw, I have left. I have leftover bacon. Who would have thought? That's crazy, right? Isn't that beautiful? La laitue, which I have romaine, doesn't matter. It doesn't matter uh, what it is there. <laughs> Sometimes the Canadian comes out, eh? Bit of that on top. Holy cow, you guys. 
I don't know why. When I see good food happening, it just makes me whisper. Is that not beautiful? I'm going to put this other piece on top. Crispy. Oh, it's not burnt. Trust me, that's beautiful. I'm going to cut this, plate it, take some pictures, and that's it for you. I'll bear out back. All right, you guys, Tom's going to try it. He's always home for work. I like a light. Look light. Oh, go ahead, Tommy. Hi, everyone. B L F G T. <laughs> You're weird. <laughs> Mm. Mm. Bacon's good, of course. Bacon's always good. You investigate it way too much. You don't show the people. He's looking at it like it's a, mm. a little bit. You gotta look down a little it's bit. Very good. Yeah? Mm -hmm. I like, probably like it better than uh, regular BLT. Regular tomato? Mm -hmm. Got a little crunch inside, can't hurt. How you mm. like that uh, sriracha mayonnaise sauce in there? Pretty good. Yeah. Tomato soft. Is it cooked? Mm-hmm. All right. Well, you guys, it's dinner time. Try it out. Step outside the box, man. I don't like boring stuff. I love to create stuff. Got green tomatoes. This is what you do with it. They weren't ripening, so that's why we plucked them off the plants. It's too hot. What's the temp today? 100. 100. Psh. Anyways, gotta love Florida. You guys, thanks for shopping. Tom's gonna go eat. Leave a thumbs up. I appreciate it. Bye. Bye.